start of a brand new week. And here's Maps with Draw News Interactive. We're live from digital address GA0992539 in Kokomemle, Accra. You can also watch us live on DSTV channel 421 and Go TV channel 144. Today on the show, we wrap up Mother's Day conversation. We talk about the Ghanaian trending on Twitter for scoring three goals against Barcelona and Pata ranking. Things briefs are necessary for the growth of the music industry. Now, let's get those comments coming on Facebook and Twitter. We are Joy News on TV. First off, here's our Monday motivation to set the tone for the week. And it's about how you'll make the most of the 24 hours given each day. If you only have 24 hours in a day, your success is dependent upon how you use the 24. You gotta hear me, people talk about Oprah Winfrey, you know, Ted Turner, Warren Buffett, listen to me, I don't care how much money you make, you only get 24 hours in a day. And the difference between Oprah and the person that's broke is Oprah uses her 24 hours wisely. That's it, listen to me, that's it, you get 24. I don't care if you broke, you grew up broke, I don't care if you grew up rich, I don't care if you're in college, you're not in college, you only get 24 hours, and I blew up literally. I went from being a high school dropout to selling 6,000 books in less than six months. What happened? My 24 hours. I was like, okay, Eric, you gotta get a grip on your 24 hours because you're about to be broke for the rest of your life. And this is all I need you to do for me. I can tell you all about your life if you just write down your 24 hour schedule for me and you let me look at it. I can tell you where you're gonna be in five years. I can tell you where you're gonna be in 10 years. I can tell you where you're gonna be in 20 years if you keep that schedule. Okay, so beefs have been with us for a long time from Tupac and B.I.G. through Samini and K.K. Fosu and Samini again with Shatawali. Ma many have complained about the effects beefs have on the musical industry. But guess what? Nigerian musician Peter Ranking has stated that beefs among entertainment personalities are healthy for the industry. In an interview with Lexus Bill and Jocelyn Dumas on the Drive Time show on Joy FM, the musician explained that beefs keep personalities on their toes and pushes them to better their crafts. So I want to know, do you agree with him? Do you think beefs are what the music industry needs? Do you think that it's good people will work harder when someone is beefing with them? But another thing is that some beefs lead to deaths and violent fights over you know, fans fighting over each other. So do you think beefs are necessary for the entertainment industry? We posted that on Facebook, uh, Joy News on TV. You can also catch us on Twitter. We are Joy News on TV. So here's the post. Do you agree with Petron King, who says beefs are healthy and good for the music industry? Let's go to Ray Masterflex, who says, I agree and disagree. Some beefs are planned, others are real. When musicians beef, some fans take it too personal. They fight, you know, insult each other and stuff. Just go on Shatawali's social media handles and also go on Stone Boys. You will see what I'm talking about. And Clement Jerry says, we Ghana and don't accept that in our music industry. So he doesn't agree. He disagrees. So as it rather produces more of insults and abusive songs than dil diligent ones. And Bright Kodam says, exactly, but it shouldn't go beyond business. So we shouldn't be insulting people's mothers and fathers like that. But Kwame Samuel says it should be professional and not direct. So exactly, don't insult people's families. And Benjamin Afroya says, 100% I agree with Peter Ronking. Uh, so keep those comments coming on Facebook and Twitter. We are Joe News on TV. But now let's move on and speak about a phrase that was trending on social media over the weekend. Now, KOD posted this concerning jo uh, John Dumelo's marriage. Let's see if I can get that tweet. So here it is. So this is his post, right? He says, just got off the phone with my friend and brother John Dumelo. My brother's actually getting married and I'm invited. Unbelievably true. And he continues to say that it's a beautiful woman too. It got me wondering, let's see, okay. It's you. Okay, yeah. So it got me wondering why most room, most men in the public eye settle for quiet, unknown women and not the ones all over. So I'm going to repeat that. 
got me wondering why most men in the public eye settle for quiet or unknown women and not the ones all over. All right. Uh, that could be a lesson uh, for some of our sisters or men want women who can make a home and not be all over. All right. So all over. Se social media went haywire with it and like took him on. One word, one word thing that trended from the post is all over, all over. So what's the most hilarious all over the place post you saw or read? So people were just like, all over, what do you mean? Which people are all over? You're saying which women are all over? Let me see if I can get those tweets. Okay, so this is from at Swangy66 who says, I'm loving this Ghana team. Serious skills all over the place and qualify celebrations. So we're gonna start with Facebook. Gonna start with Facebook. So it was trending all over the place. All over the place. You know it was trending all over the place. You get it? No, you don't. Okay. Uh, let's go to Ni Mantasi who says, name two all over the place people. And Kweku Whetstone says, celebrities all over the place. John Dumelo's wedding photos. And then this one is from Aqua who says, beautifully made all over the place. Congratulations. And this one is from Kweku who says, all over the place, woman. Please be sincere. Would you allow your brothers to marry your kind? And this one is from Ad Grace Asante who says, You're all over the place, Mr. Dumelo, but congrats, man. And David Marley says, Afia Schwarzenegger was all over the place. She fortunately found a man to marry her, but now the man is nowhere. And he continues, comes back to say that we will stop being all over the place on our bed. Okay, we'll have just a small place to occupy. And our coffee papa will always wake up to delicious foods in the bowl. Can somebody shout amen? All right, let's go to Neiman Tati who says, all over the place. How is market? If you insult me, I go fire back all. And coffee black GH says, do you remember when KOD was all over the place, burning his Trump shirts in his backyard, all in the name of protesting against Trump. You did one corner for Ghana, they protest against Trump hmm. in you. All right, okay, so some very interesting all over the place. Let's go to, let's see, okay, to Joe Sapong who says, what mothers do when they're all over the place? So if you zoom in, it is a picture of Jalof Ross. There, okay, we'll try to get it later. And Komla Adom says, Ibra, Ibra, all over the place. What's that? Only Ibra I know is Ibra Kadabra. Oh, Ibra Kadabra, like the magic word. Okay, the legendary. Okay, so some all over the place comments and tweets over there. So let's go to Twitter and see. It was trending. It was trending all over the place. You understand? I mean, he said the women are all over the place. He's also trending all over the place. His Twitter, Facebook, just all over. So let's go to Ole Salvador, who says, it keeps getting better and better. Geniuses all over the place. These are bamboo speakers made right here in Ghana. So some positive, you know, some bamboo speakers made right here in Ghana. Let's go to this one, who says, all over the place. KOD Diction says, unmarriageable. Okay, and here I thought it meant gallivanting. Anyway, I got my purpose to chase, so I'm going to catch you all later. So let's see uh, if we can go to this one uh, at Lagbovi who says, so the man shouldn't settle down someday, even if he played all over the place teams in Ghana. Okay, so that's on Twitter and women, men, men want women who can keep a home and not women who are all over. Like, what does it even mean? Like, I was asking myself the whole weekend, what does it even mean? Like, how is a woman who's all over the place? How do they look like? How do they speak? Like, does it even make sense? But let's go to Sir Kobe who says, sex education, this Ghana, sex education is all over the place. Sex being a lucrative ad advertisement tool gets a lot of young people thinking about performance than protection. At Adam Williams says, they don't market themselves outside Ghana. 
and Atis conquers Ghana and stops there, whilst our neighbours are all over the place promoting themselves. So I'm going to take the last tweet, and this one is from at Kate Baffle, who says, I'm listening to unemployed graduates speak on radio about NAPCO, uh, a, a Ghana program aimed at observing unemployed uh, graduates into gainful employment for a period. And again, political propaganda undertones all over the place. <laughs> So yesterday we were celebrating our mothers and I want to know what you did for her. You know, most people were posting their mothers on social media, saying my mom, my queen, my what, what. But someone was like, your mom is not on social media. She's on mobile money. So do the right thing, my friend. Today's Monday. I hope you're doing the right thing. Send your mom some money. Don't just post it on Facebook. You know what I mean? But I asked you what you guys did for Mother's Day yesterday. And this is from Adbaya Jeremiah who says, I couldn't take her out nor offer her any material items, but I reassured and promised her to continue to be a good and responsible boy and will never ever form it trouble for her. My behavior will always give her the happiness she deserves as a mother. So to all the ladies with drawing news and others all, the, all over the world, I say happy Mother's Day to you all. Clement Jerry says, happy Mother's Day to all the ladies who have given birth yet but our breastfeeding boys with 32 teeth we appreciate your effort Valania Katia says my mother is Jehovah Witness she didn't accept anything even to tell her happy Mother's Day was a big no Joseph says if you've ever sat at a woman's breast then you know you owe it full responsibility to wish all of them happy Mother's Day okay Joseph very interesting there Ray Master Flake says I prayed for her I ask God to have mercy on her and let her soul rest peacefully wherever she is. I think prayer is the best gift. It's not expensive. It's the best gift. And it's just, you know, it just covers all aspects of life. But Mother's Day was trending on Twitter. It's still trending. It's the third trend. Let's see if we can get some tweets on that. Hashtag Mother's Day. Celebrate your mom 365 days of the year. Don't just celebrate her on one occasion. Okay, so this is that Michelle Obama who says, It's impossible for any picture to truly capture what my mother, Marion, has meant to me. Happy hashtag Mother's Day to all the moms out there and especially to my own. And if we can go to at Worldstar who says, Happy Mother's Day. This picture says, Mom, I just wanted to tell you that Mother's Day wouldn't be possible without me. I mean, makes sense. You know, I'll be waiting for my present in the living room. Love, Joshua. Joshua is a very smart boy. He's a very smart boy. I mean, you know, without Joshua, mom wouldn't be a mom. So it makes sense. I hope mom gave Joshua his present. So this is at Donald J. Trump Jr. who says, Happy Mother's Day to the best mom in the world. Vanessa, enjoy your day. You've certainly earned it dealing with those five mun munchkins and me. And this one goes to, let's see if we can get more. Original Funko says, we hope you had a great day. Hashtag Mother's Day. So that's the Incredibles family. And this one says, okay, let's see. Let's see if we can get hashtag Mother's Day. Celebrating our moms every single day and not just on one day. Okay. Donald J. Trump tweets, mothers are important, but there should be a day for fathers too. The liberal media won't let that happen. And that's why there's Father's Day. Yes, Donald Trump? Yes. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, so those are tweets. Let's go to C.S. Lewis Daily, who says, on Mothers, who says, let's see if we can get that last tweet. It's loading. It's loading. So it says, it's surely, in reality, the most important work in the world is the job for which all others exist so those are your tweets on hashtag mother's day it's been a wonderful all over the place show i really enjoyed bringing it to you hope uh, to see you tomorrow same time same place on the dstv channel 41 and go tv channel 144 for me my pizza cbd and the joy news interactive team we say adios